Hello, and welcome to Tiny Marketing. I'm Sarah Noel Block, and I teach small marketing departments that are tired of feeling overwhelmed and under-resourced how to build and manage an effective and efficient marketing strategy that works for them. You get expert marketing advice from someone who's been there, done that. Get ready, it's time to dig in. Hey friends, Sarah here. I am doing something a little bit different. As my podcast grows, I realize that I just want to create more value for you. For the past year, maybe two years now, we've been creating the Tiny Marketing Show bi-weekly. So now I'm introducing mini episodes in between those bi-weekly longer interview episodes so you can hear directly from me in a little bite-sized, tinier marketing podcast. And yes, I did create podcast art featuring my tinier marketing. (laughs) I'm so clever. (laughs) So today is the first tinier marketing episode. And it is titled Six Steps to Partner Marketing Promotion because all month long we are talking about partner marketing. And if you listened to this show before, you know how important it has been for my business. I had nobody. (laughs) I had no audience. I had no clients when I started Tiny Marketing. But through strategic partnerships, I was able to borrow other people's audiences and grow my audience really fast. And I got, I would say, my first $15,000 in client contracts through a singular guest blog. Partner marketing has been a cornerstone of my business. And I feel like it is a good move for any small business or solo entrepreneur because you don't get the press coverage you deserve. And you don't get amplified like the big guys, but you can control your amplification with partnership marketing and grow so much faster. So in the last episode, I talked to Laura Lopich and we introduced the idea of partnership marketing. What is it? It is identifying service providers or product companies that target the same audience that you do, but they aren't a direct competitor necessarily. We had some banter about this where at first I was like, I don't ever work with competitors, but that's not true at all. I actually partner with competitors all the time and we end up sharing work. But the idea is they have the mirror audience to you and that allows you to grow so much faster. So some ways that you can partner with service providers and product companies to amplify your reach would be co-branded webinars, podcasts, being a guest on someone's podcast, having them be a guest on your podcast. Guest blogging is another great one. And when you're doing these, you need to actually promote them. You both need to put in the time, the effort to promote them. So today I'm going to share my six steps for partner marketing promotion. Before we dig into the meat of this episode and I tell you my six strategies for promoting partnership marketing opportunities, I just want to shout out Medway, Massachusetts. You are a top listener. Thank you. Frankfurt and Maine Hesse in Germany. Thank you for always showing up for me. Athens Attica, you rock. Thank you for listening to this podcast. All right, now we'll dig into it. So first things first, social media posts. Whenever you're posting about the content that you created with a partner or that you're about to launch with a partner, make sure to tag them in it. And tag anybody who might be interested in that topic in it so that well, they can share your post, make sure that they're posting it. You can also have a shared folder with co-branded like Canva templates or graphics to promote that partnership. Number two would be social media takeovers. 
So let's say for a day, you take over their social media platform, they take over your social media platform. So you for so their audiences can get to know you a little bit better. And of course, make sure to promote that co-branded partner marketing asset that you created together. Number three, newsletter takeovers. With newsletter takeovers, you would write a message to their audience and then they would send it from their email platform, from their name, and just make sure that they know that you are the person writing it. And then you swap and they do the same thing for your audience. And whenever you're doing that, Yes, you want to promote whatever you co-created together, but also include a lead gen so you can convert that audience to your audience. Number four is co-written emails. Write an email together to promote the asset that you've created and both of you share it. So it's going out to all of your audience. Number five is co-created reels. So I worked with, I was on a podcast, the Content Queen podcast, and Mariah is the host of it. She had me create one half of a reel, and she created the other half of the reel, and then she edited them together, and we both shared it out. And it was a fun way to co-create marketing to promote what we did together. Now, number six is co-created events. So think about Eventbrite or... LinkedIn events, you will want an event page for, let's say, a co-branded webinar that you're doing together. Make sure that you create that event together. You're both attached to it as speakers and you're both sharing out that event. So those are my six tips, quick and dirty, for partner marketing promotion. Co-created social media posts where you're tagging everybody involved, social media takeovers, newsletter takeovers, co-created emails, co-created reels, and co-created events. So if you found this helpful, be sure to share this with your friends. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to head down to the show notes page and sign up for my webinar with Laura Lopich, where we are going to discuss what partner marketing is, how to identify partnerships, the different types of marketing partnerships that you can do and how to pitch them, which I think is invaluable. (laughs) You're also going to get a DIY pitching partnership marketing bundle. So you can, after this webinar, go home and get started right away. Be sure to follow this podcast wherever you're listening to it. Share it and tell your friends about it. And that is it. Zip, zip, zowie. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed this mini episode and my very fancy, tinier marketing artwork for it. 